This is the Camera Dolly. It's a useful tool that lets you create camera animations using the VRChat camera. It's perfect for filmmakers, cinematographers, streamers, avatar world showcases, and other creative projects. Greetings, my name is Razi McSnazzy. The Camera Dolly is loaded with features and I'll guide you through them in this tutorial. First things first, to access the Camera Dolly, open up the VRChat camera and scroll to Dolly. There are a lot of things here, but don't worry, we'll go through them all. We will start by creating a path, which is essentially a set of points for the camera to follow. To create a path, you will need at least two points. Begin by setting up your camera to where you want your first point to start. When you add a point, it will use the values the camera is currently set to, such as its placement, zoom, focus, duration, and more. Click Add to place your first point, then move the camera, adjust values if needed, and click Add again. Also, while using the camera dolly, we've increased the fly distance much further than the regular camera, so you can position without restrictions. Once you have more than one point, the play button will become available. Click it to play the animation you just created. You can stop the animation while it's playing by clicking the stop button. If you want to replace a point, click clear last. And if you want to restart from scratch, click clear all. In the anchor menu, if the camera is anchored to the world, animations will remain fixed as the player moves. To have the paths follow your avatar, select default or local. In the world, you can see where you place the points with the 3D camera and a menu on top. The camera values can be adjusted at each point. You can remove the point and edit its animation values. Position allows you to adjust its playing order position, while path lets you choose which path it's on. More on that in a moment. You can also grab the camera and adjust it manually. While picked up in VR, the viewfinder shows a preview of the held point. Clicking Use on a picked up point freezes it in place and allows you to fine tune rotation. Also, double clicking Use on a picked up point deletes it. Finally, Copy to Camera applies the points values back to the camera. Now let's get into all of the settings on the left of the camera. You can create multiple paths that are animated in sequence, allowing you to create more complex animations. For example, if you wanted one path to capture an establishing shot and then have it jump to a close-up of your avatar, you can do so with two separate paths. When you move a point to the next path, it is added in the front and becomes the new first point. If you move it to the previous path instead, it is added to the back and becomes the new last point. By default, the camera dolly uses time-based motion. A duration slider determines the duration value of newly added points. A point's duration controls how long it takes the camera to move from this point to the next in units of seconds. Note the slider only determines the duration value of a point when you create it. To edit an existing point's duration, you have to walk up to it and edit its duration value in the point UI. When using time-based motion, you may also choose an easing type, we'll go into more detail on that in a second. Motion control also has a speed option. When selected, the animation uses fly speed instead of duration. This allows you to adjust the speed manually at each point for custom ease curves. Easing controls how the animation transitions from the start to the end of a path. It allows you to make more aesthetically pleasing camera movements. There are 12 different options, each with their own unique ease curves. In easing, for example, begins slowly and gradually accelerates. They can be a bit tricky to explain, but if you're interested in learning more, we'll link a helpful website in the description. Fitted paths are the default and use B-spline interpolation. This essentially plays the animation smoothly, but it may not pass through exactly where you placed your points. Loose paths use Catmull ROM interpolation, which will have the animation pass through the points you've added, but may feel slightly less smooth than fitted paths. And linear paths are not smooth, but will move to your exact point placement. Use this one when you're making straight or simple paths. Fitted and loose paths need at least four points. Any less will default to the linear path. Once you add at least four points, the beginning and end will become anchors, which are not part of the animation, but are instead used to give shape to the beginning and end of each path. Looping allows you to configure how the animation will loop. When using looping, the animation will loop indefinitely until you click stop or leave the world. Repeat looping restarts the path from the start once the camera reaches the end. Reverse changes direction whenever the camera reaches the start or end of the path. And Revolve connects the end of a path back to the start so it loops smoothly. Currently in beta and may change, Capture offers different options to record the dolly animation. Photo automatically takes photos during the animation. 
the rate is adjustable with the photos per second slider. Just watch your storage with this one. Video records the animation and saves it as an MP4 video. The resolution is currently based on your photo resolution up to 4K. There's also an option to select either your local microphone or world, including other players, as the video's audio source. And Emoji records the camera dolly movement and turns it into an animated emoji. Streaming is only available on Windows and works via Spout 2. By default, single paths are animated in sequence, back to back. By setting streaming to multi, you can play paths simultaneously. Multi-streaming has a maximum of four paths, any additional paths are ignored. The camera dolly supports four OSC endpoints for playing an animation, playing an animation after a start timer, exporting the current animation, and importing an animation. Keep a lookout for community-made OSC tools. Lastly, in the advanced settings is export and import. When you click export, it writes all of the points you've created to a JSON file. You can use that to save a path and import it later by clicking import and pasting in the file path to that JSON. Both export and import are also available via OSC, so tool makers can build integrations like path libraries, Dolly companion apps, etc. And that's all for this tutorial. If you'd like to dive deeper, check out the written documentation linked in the description. I've also made a tutorial world where you can learn at your own pace directly in VRChat. We're excited to see what you create with this feature. Thanks for watching.